All right, YouTube, this is Two Cent back at you with some Echoes of Mana, and I am in my last part of our series on armor tier lists. This specific section is on our tank units. This is going to be your sumo if you're building him more tank than a, uh, the support, so more to take damage rather than for the healing aspect, and uh, possibly units like Duran. Um, or Shiloh, or any of these units that are basically sword users that have the ability to boost their con. I think later on we'll also get some units that are going to be able to boost up their spirit and for you know, like the mage tanking piece of things. So let's take a look at what we really are looking for as far as sets for these guys. And I'm going to tell you on my sumo, I'm not looking for him to do one bit of damage. I don't care about what damage he is doing. I know you can uh, utilize like his card out there that can give some extra normal attack damage and things like that, which are really good, little extra things to have, but I'm not going to build a set around the fact that they're going to do a little bit of damage. That's not what they're there for. So automatically, I'm going to put a lot of these damage sets down in the bottom here. So we're going to have the uh, Hemp set and the Silk set. Uh, regardless, you know, uh, you know, if they're not Earth or Wind, obviously we're not going to use those sets anyway. But then I'm also going to slide our um, Strength set down here. Currently we're not going to have anything that is boostering somebody's ability to take damage based off of their Strength. So I think this is a good spot to put those three gears for them. Now, uh, if we're looking at mage tanking, spirit obviously is going to be a good one to have. Uh, I don't think in the game right now spirit is a huge deal to stack. Uh, I think a lot of our bosses are very con based, and I think that's done for a reason. They gave us a bunch of sword users for a reason that have all those uh, you know natural con stats, and then the the buffs that they get from activating their skill. Uh, and I think that's just how the game is going to be designed for now. As we get further in, I think Spirit's going to make a bigger deal. And in fact, maybe for now, we just drop the Spirit into A. And just say, you know, like, prepare it that you're going to want some of these sets. And also one thing to think about is this is a right side of your gear sort of set. So it could pair very well with what I'm going to put up here in S tier, which is our Minnesota, our con modifying set. Uh, you know, you're stacking this uh, on top of those buffs that your uh, sword users are getting and just getting great amount of uh, constitution to be able to handle these uh, physical attacks. So uh, being able to pair that with a spirit set is, in my mind, a very good option for you. However, I don't think it's quite uh, the best in a couple weeks. I think what you're going to want to do is actually get some additional HP on these guys. And that can be done using our our Holly uh, set as well. And so I'm just going to move that. Right now I'm going to keep it in A just because it's only able to get four stars right now. And once you are able to unlock the, uh, the next story missions that we're getting here in a couple weeks and we get access to hopefully the, uh, the Holly or the uh, Cotton set that gives us that HP increase, I think this turns into a viable option. Uh, you're going to look for, for the Holly to pair with your Con set for your physical tanking, and you're going to take Cotton and you're going to use it and pair it with the Ivory set for your magic tanking. And I think between those two, you get a nice, good, effective health pools to uh, let your units stand up long enough to be able to get healed and kind of use that as a way of sustaining through the fight. Now, uh, our maple here, this is our intellect set. And I'm going to actually put it right around the B area. Uh, it is going to be better than just this damage set, and it's going to be better than the strength set, because there are going to be units like Sumo who are going to have heals that are based off of intellect. And so that's actually going to help them a little bit. Uh, if you're wanting to give them some more... Uh, uh, you know, healing power uh, if your team kind of needs that more. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's better than what I have over here in the S tier and the A tier, but if you got an excess amount of this because you were farming it for the ivory set or something like that, uh, this might be an option for you to use um, while you're working on the other ones. Now, we have this oak set, and we've talked about it in the previous two tier uh, videos that 
the oak set just isn't very good. It, it's only giving 20 MP. That's barely enough for uh, you know a skill when it's when your character is fully unleashed and it kind of gets the uh, reduced cost. And I just I'm not sure it's going to hold up here at all either. You got the the idea of oh well. If you got Sumo and he's casting a bunch of heals and trying to use his armor on every stage, then that can be kind of taxing. I still don't think it's going to be worth using over these other ones. And I'm going to put it at the top of C. Still more useful than having extra damage on a character that you're not going to be stacking damage sta uh, stats on anyway. So those, uh, those uh, increases just aren't going to amount to much. But... That's going to be it for our um, tier list here on our tanks. It's a pretty simple one, and that's been my two cents.